Tony Stewart was cleared of all wrongdoing. No charges are being pressed against him. And there are still people out there who are bitching and moaning and complaining, calling him a murderer, saying he should have been charged with at least something. When it came to this, Kevin Ward's family has come out and undoubtedly saying that we still believe that Tony Stewart was... Uh, hey, your kid ran two-thirds down a hot track, okay? He ran two-thirds down a hot track while on marijuana. Enough marijuana, the toxicology report said, to impair his judgment. How do you fucking like that, apologists, huh? Does that change your mind at all? Oh, well, it's just marijuana. You know, marijuana doesn't make people angry. Marijuana isn't going to impair somebody's judgment. He was racing fine. I mean, how could that do anything? Okay, so if you're just going to let that one slide, if, if you're the kind of person who would have the inclination to let that one slide, let's just say that... Your son, your daughter, and people are going to cry sensationalism, I don't care, fuck you. Uh, let's say your, your son, wife, daughter, whoever, is injured in a car accident, and it is revealed that the person who hit your son, wife, daughter, was high on marijuana at the time. Would you just let that little fact slide? Would you be just a little bit pissed off if the cop said, well, yeah, he was high on marijuana, but bullshit, get that shit out of here. Yes, you would be upset. You would be incensed in fact. So you cannot take that out of play here. And the grand jury didn't take that out of play. Not to mention, the guy ran two-thirds down the track, watched one car swerve around him, and actually tried to grab onto Tony's car before he took a spin cycle around. And you know what? The kid's an idiot. You know, and I said that in the last video, and I guess somebody that said he was a close friend or family threatened to kill me. Um, and to that person, I say, come on, even you have to admit that he was fucking stupid. Even the closest person to, and, and yeah, bias, I know, but, but even the, the closest, closest friend of somebody that did that would have to concede that he was fucking stupid to get out of his car, put himself two-thirds down the fucking track, watch a guy swerve around him, and still walk down the track into harm's way. It, it's it's kind of like he dodged the shark attack and he just cut himself just to see if the shark would pass him by a second time. Uh, you know, and, and then the, the big kicker, the big kicker, the guy was stoned. He was fucking stoned. And some people are just passing that aside saying, oh, he's still a murderer. Kiss my ass. All of you people out there still calling Tony Stewart a murderer can kiss my ass and I'm sure he would be saying the same thing true true to Tony form if, if he could say that uh, if, if the media wouldn't jump all over him and and try to use his uh, his past against him I mean look, look at every picture that they use of him in the media it's it's of him with a scowl on his face and they try to use his past against him of him being a hothead you know if, if, if they wouldn't use that against him I'm sure he'd be saying the same thing okay it is an unfortunate incident like everybody's been saying I'm not saying anything new it is an unfortunate incident it's sad that it had to happen but it could have been prevented and the onus was on Kevin Ward to make sure that that incident did not happen not Tony Stewart didn't make a very good case for himself with the weed either you gotta concede that and you have to concede beyond the shadow of a doubt that Kevin Ward was stupid for what he did and he is dead because of what he did not the actions of anybody else so can we all agree on that and shut up oh, of course we can of course we can no <laughs> what am I yeah.